Wish is about uh, a, a young single mum with a 12 year old son who uh, lived in inner city Sydney and I took her to the bush to a small country town to run the local pub um, and there she, she rents a house from a local cattleman and uh, he has he has good reason not to really want to be romantically involved anymore and uh, for both of them it's a, a second chance, a second chance romance and it's a terrific trope to write. The inspiration came from my mother, had to come from my mother. My mother was a, a, a single mum and uh, my grandmother, both really strong women and uh, I admired that, celebrate that and I like writing strong female characters who um, don't really wait around to, um, to be rescued. Adam's got a lot of good qualities. <laughs> he's, um, he's strong, he's, he's taciturn, he, um, I did play a little bit off the sort of the Australian stockman trope. He's very romantic, um, a very genuine person, cares very deeply, um, he was a little bit lonely, uh, he wasn't looking for love, but um, we gave it to him anyway, gave him a hard time. But yeah, yeah, he is the embodiment of a, of a real hero. Busy, um, imaginative, maybe, and um, stern. That one's for my sons. <laughs> <laughs> Anne Gracie's my favourite historical romance writer. Um, for contemporary romance, uh, Susan Elizabeth Phillips. It's terrific. Linda Howard, I've always loved Linda Howard's stories, really uh, intense. Jennifer Crusey, um, who is? That's it. <laughs>